What's going on everybody? I'm going to start off the video a little different this time. I hope everybody has enjoyed my videos thus far uh, in the process of deconstructing my 69 Fastback that I've had for quite some time in my life. And now with how circumstances are, I can now begin the process of actually working on the vehicle, which is absolutely amazing to me. And I really do appreciate the support and the subscribers and the likes of my videos as I continue on here. It's only going to get better from this point once I finally tear it down to its bare bones to really see how bad it is. Uh, that'll be at the worst this car will ever see in its life. And then from that point on, we're going to build it and make it bigger, badder, and better in every way possible. See, this is where I'm kind of confused because this appears to be like a fold down, but I can't find anywhere of a release point on it and that really does confuse me because I looked in the owner's manual and the only one I see that releases and folds down is from the deluxe interior. My dart, the rear seat, I push up on it after releasing, you know, I undo two screws at the bottom of the base on the hooks. Take those out and push up and it comes off the hooks. This, when I'm looking in the back side of the trunk, I don't see that. So it does swivel. What the heck is that? Ew. So, let me put this straight forward here. I have a big feeling here that these people were driving this car around wrecked. There is no way that that wasn't put there on purpose. Nasty. So this is like a cupcake foil that they glued to the inner part of the wheelhouse to cover a crack. I can't make this stuff up. It's absolutely astounding. <laughs> oh, people. Let me zoom in for everybody here. What I'm working with. Well, there's a crack in the transition pan going down into the floor pan. Look at that. Beautiful. Big old crack. That's a bend on the inner part of the roof structure right there. Now that I've looked at it long enough, that is not a natural bend, I think. That is from the impact, which then tells me the whole inner part of the roof structure is not straight. They're backing straight on its way out. Here it comes. Feel like dealing with it. They're not going back in here anyways. Not like that at least. Okay, here it goes. Alright, interesting tidbit and development to furthering my theories of this vehicle here. goodness these are flower pots why seriously it's like here let's just stick a bunch of flower pots in the side of the car this makes me wonder what these people did for a living hmm wonder what they would do back in the 70s or 80s I mean I did find roaches and you know roach clips and stuff like that in here so maybe they're pot growers you know and that's what they used but they also used it I believe to cover up a gaping hole in the side of the wheelhouse right there mm-hmm <laughs> thing is wasted <laughs> ah, look at that 
absolutely wasted. Hey, there it is. Look at that. Broken. Broken. Cool. Yeah, maybe it's not broken. And there it goes, hit my head. It's okay. I'm hard headed for my wife. I'm very hard headed. Look straight down. That tube, and then the bracket. Look how far over this side of this bracket is. That tells me how bent the car is. That means the ass of this car, or this panel, is pushed over that way. I'd say two inches. I would definitely say that's two inches. This is supposed to be centered because it's got a little cutout here for the filler neck, but it's rubbing this. And then these, these guys right here, are in here like this, like stuffed, just like that. Oh, this thing. There we go. I'll be uh, taking the exhaust off. So I got this really cool Milwaukee Sawzall. I got for, at a garage sale for free. So can't beat that. Let's give it a try, see if it works. Come on, you're hanging on by a thread here. All right, off you came. Look at that. That to me looks like a coat hanger. Get this off. Or not. Nope, there it goes. That was a lot of fun. Found out they were using a coat hanger to hold the exhaust up on the driver's side. It never ceases to amaze me how much stuff I'm finding inside this car. There's my disc brake rotor caliper assembly with the really bent, messed up front suspension from the impact that it had. Now you guys can get a better look at it here. Really, really tight. This other rust. Come on, let go. There it goes. Yep. Just extremely stuck. I think it's a little thin, don't you think? Look at that. <laughs> I mean, this sucker is almost metal to metal right there. There's not much meat left on the bone, huh? I'm gonna pull the shock out, go through the top, and then I got a spring compressor and I can compress this and then get it out of here. And I made a mess. Oops. And there it is. The uh, old Monroe shock there. That's pretty cool. Fun part now. We get to take the spring out. Yay! Hope I don't kill myself. out on one side <laughs> one spring is out that was really nerve-wracking because of all the damage it has it just this thing is totally cracked up in here so this is really like fatigued and you can see how bent and pushed forward the arm is where it's facing it's going further that way towards the front of the car so I was really worried starting to put a lot of pressure on the spring <laughs>
here is I'm going to disassemble this all in one piece. I'm going to take this with this with the strut rod all at the same time. The other side it took way too long to do, so I'm going to do it the easy way on this side now that I see how it all comes apart. Um, I'm going to do it all in one piece. I think that would be a lot easier to take. Uh, it didn't want to come apart, did it? Woo! I got the entire upper and lower control arm with the hub assembly and strut rod in one go here. Pretty cool. So, because I took apart the other side, I kind of figured out, you know, I didn't really need to do all that extra work, so might as well do it in one shot, right? I'm not gonna reuse any of this. This is basically trash to me at this point, including the uh, calipers for the disc brakes, because I'm gonna go with something entirely better than what the factory that can actually stop the car and uh, perform way better. All right, everybody, so that's gonna do it here for this episode. There's a lot more to go on the car. Please stay tuned, a lot more to come. And I really hope you've enjoyed my videos. Please like and subscribe.